KYT is 90302, and I wanted to come back with another shopping adventures. Now, I have to do a little explaining about this shopping adventure. This shopping adventure was prompted more so by my Maven sister, Miss Latoya. Latoya happened to post a picture in the Mavens of some Maybelline color tattoos. And you guys know that the Maybelline color tattoos are like the mad hit. Uh, they work wonderfully. So when we first looked at the picture, we were like, they're not new. Those have been out. But when I kind of blew the picture up, I realized that there actually is four limited shades that are coming out. Um, now, she happened to be in her Target and she found them. So immediately, you know, the makeup junkie in me went running out to Target only to find out that they're not in my Target. Matter of fact, she even went so far as to post the UPC code for them. And when I took that back into Target, we plugged it into the system. And I live in Maryland, but they are not in Virginia, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Delaware. They're not there yet. So these are something that are very limited edition. And when they're going to actually make it into your stores, I'm not sure. But there is a fuchsia colored one a teal, a green, and a blue. And I think that they were supposed to be kind of corresponding to the new Maybelline Great Lash with colors. So uh, this first one that I did pick up is called Pop of Purple. And I got Pop of Purple, so I'm thinking maybe the Fuchsia one is supposed to go with the Pop of Purple. I also picked up the one that is called Totally Teal and they brought out a new teal one um, those were the only two the other two uh, colors that they brought out in the great lash is a blue one and then there is a green one and I didn't buy the blue or green so I'm thinking that the other two tattoos match those so when you're in your local Target CVS Walgreens Rite Aids wherever Maybelline products are being sold you definitely want to take a gander and look around at the end caps and the displays to see if you happen to come across these limited edition tattoos because they are really pretty from what I can tell and definitely would like to have them in your collection all right so the next stop up in Target while I was in there looking around I picked up two of Sonia Kashuk's brushes and the first one that I picked up is the angle eyeliner brush and it looks like this and I picked this up because I had been watching uh, Destiny Godly um, after I got it I was like okay let's see this might work for the brows but it's fairly big I mean I guess I could do the tops really well with them but I think with this brush you have to kind of play with it and figure out how it works best for you so I did get that and then I also picked up one of the small powdered blush brushes and it looks like this it kind of reminded me initially when I took it out of the MAC 109 except for it's not really kind of flat on top but it is just big enough as you can see to fit the apples of my cheeks so this will be a great blush brush um, and you guys know I'm a brush fanatic so I will add that to my collection also while I was in Target I picked up one of the Maybelline Volume Express mascaras the Mega Plush and so I haven't tried that so I decided to pick that one up then I left my local Target and I went to my local Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar Tree trying to, once again, try to find the Maybelline Definer Brow in dark brown. Um, Maybelline has discontinued those and for whatever reason they've been showing up in Dollar Trees. Some people have been really lucky and been able to find like tons of them and then others we haven't been able to find any and so I want to say thank you to my girl Tanika uh, she's in Fabulous Faces and Tanika found some in her area where she lived and so she was able to send me two of them so I have two of those so I want to thank her for that also while I was in my Dollar Tree I came across this L'Oreal Visual Softly Luminous Powdered Blush and it comes in a package like this and I will quickly show you what this blush looks like so here is the packaging 
when you open it up you have a nice little mirror in here and then you get your blush and this applicator and the name of this blush is plume and I will swatch that for you so there is plume swatched out on my finger and there it is swatched out on my hand so it's a really pretty blush for a buck you can't beat it also while I was in there I picked up one of these Maybelline um, smoked coal eyeliners and it comes in a package like this you have the um, smudger in and then you have your pencil in and so I got one of those so those were all the things that I picked up in my local Dollar Tree then I placed an order on um, BH Cosmetics because they were having a sale and I had seen some people post a picture of the BH Party Girl palette and so I went on and I went ahead and broke down and purchased it so it comes in a package like this it is considered limited edition it has 40 eyeshadows and inside you get these 40 shades right here so you have everything from a red to some blues your greens your pinks your purples your neutral colors so I will quickly give you a swatch of a couple of the colors show you the pigmentation so there they are swatched out on my finger and there they are swatched out on my arm so the pigmentation is really nice and for fourteen dollars you can't beat this so definitely check out BH Cosmetics the next thing that I did was um, I don't know if you guys are subscribed to Miss Philly Diva but I will leave her information down below she has a big cartel site on her channel you might watch her do uh, show you how to make uh, three part wigs U part wigs invisible part wigs uh, she does some wonderful thrifting some nice outfits of the day and on her big cartel site she had um, some jewelry items and so I it came in a package like this and so I want to thank her for having this available and this necklace right here caught my eye so I picked this up and it would lay like this on your neck so I want to thank Philly Diva for having that on her website for purchase I also stopped into my local Rite Aid um, I want to thank my sis Miss CRB 2000 um, she had posted a pic in the Mavens she had purchased some of the black opal total coverage concealing foundation and it comes in a package like this and if you're familiar with black opal black opal makes some really really good uh, foundations and concealer products um, I cannot use their stick version for whatever reason I think it's just way too oily for me but I do on a normal basis use the black opal um, liquid foundation the oil free version and I love this stuff and I usually get it in nutmeg um, so I went looking to see if I could get the total coverage one in nutmeg but they don't sell nutmeg in the stores at least not in my stores um, so I had to break down and get truly topaz um, which is actually not that bad um, and it comes in a package like this so there is the truly topaz nice and compact and it looks like this in the pan so I am probably going to have to go on the website to get it in nutmeg um, but for now I'm going to play with this one so I want to thank her for that also while I was in there I picked up one of the Rimmel Exaggerate eyeliner the bold design in black noir and it looks like this and then the last thing I did was I stopped in my local um, Walmart and while I was in my Walmart I had to pick up some household things uh, had to pick up my uh, allergy eye relief for my red eyes that's always red and then I also stopped over in the makeup aisle because I had been trying to get 
the hard candy blush and living doll and every time I went into my local Walmart um, it was always sold out but I was able to find it this time so there's the living doll and it looks like this and I will give you a swatch of that so there it is swatched on my finger and there it is swatched out on my hand really pretty so I picked that up and now I'm trying to make sure is that everything that I did on this adventure I think that's it so like I said pay close attention when you go into your targets Walgreens CVS's Rite Aid's Walmart's and be on the lookout for those Maybelline color tattoos um, whenever they hit uh, I can guarantee you those colors will not be in the shelves or on the shelves too long alright guys take care and if you have any questions you know what to do leave it down below bye